View Stats is Mr. Beast's statistic website on YouTube, and it has a lot of other interesting pro tools on the side. There's alerts, outliers, thumbnail search, A-B test, competitors, collections. So we're gonna go over every single thing in this video and give my thoughts because I got the pro version of View Stats. So first, View Stats is sort of like a two-in-one. You get statistics on YouTube, but you also get the creator side of YouTube, all these pro tools. But on its own, View Stats is actually a pretty interesting website. So Mr. Beast, the biggest YouTube channel in the entire world, created a statistics website in 2024. And so this is how the main website works. This part is actually free. You can just type in any YouTube channel you want, like uh, PewDiePie. Let's check out him. There we go. See, this is his channel. So let's check this out. So this is what you get from his channel. You have all the subscribers at the top, the total views at the top. There's the analytics, which is this page where you can see all the analytics on the channel, like how many views he gets per day. You switch it to how many subscribers per day. Down here is how many video views per day. This chart right here looks exactly like other websites out there, especially one known as Social Blade, which we have used so many times on my YouTube channel before. Like, let's look at High Words. Let's look at my Social Blade on here. This is mine. Like, it looks so similar. It, it's a bit like old because this, this website has been around quite a while, but look, it's the same chart. You get the view count on this side and the subscriber on this side. So it's interesting, right? It's the same thing, but there's also other tabs here. So you have the videos tab where you can see all of a user's like videos all displayed out. It looks exactly kind of like YouTube. All of the corners on the thumbnails are rounded. It looks like it's just the YouTube UI in a way. But something interesting here that Social Blade doesn't do, if you click on, let's say this video here, which is actually a pretty good video, you can see like, this is pretty much YouTube Studio. This is what Studio looks like. This is what the graph in YouTube Studio Studio looks like. There's like the estimated revenue on the video. You can view all of the like the title changes. Oh my gosh, he actually changed the title here. Okay. Estimated rank by views. These are all statistics that YouTube gives you in your personal analytics. So seeing other channels analytics is crazy. There's also the projections tab. So this is based on your current growth where view stats predicts you'll be in the future. So he's projected to reach 30 billion views in 733 days. It's not fully accurate, especially for PewDiePie's channel, but you know, it's, it's cool. Similar channels. I don't even know how any of these guys are similar to him, honestly, but okay. And then the about section is just, you know, very specific details that's that's just normally available on YouTube, like the, the description or bio of a channel, the view count, subscriber count, the countries in, which is Japan. So it's cool, right? And that works it, exactly pretty much like Social Blade does. You can look up any channel or mostly any channel uh, and, and view all the statistics for it. So it's awesome, but they also have top lists so you can see the top channels on YouTube. It's very detailed actually, it, it just keeps going. Most subscribers gained, most views of all time are on here. T-Series is the first, I guess. Most subscribers of all time, Mr. Beast. Like it's so cool. Most subscribers gained in the last year, Mr. Beast. Most subscribers gained yesterday, Kids Diana Show. Like. I don't know, it, it's cool to see this. So that's the free website. That's pretty much everything on here. There are more like, see like you can have add-ons. So if we go to the view stats page, there's this add-on. It just takes you to their view stats profile by clicking that button. So what the extension does is it just gives you like a little outline of the video itself. So you can like, you can see the, the views and how many the channel typically gets. Uh, you can compare it, the ranking on all of his most recent videos. Like yeah, it's performing pretty well. The overview of the channel. It's just a little tab on the side so you don't actually have the view stats website. But let's move on from this. This is so cool already. This on its own, great website. But there are some really cool pro tools that I want to look at. So here are the pro tools. This is paid for. And honestly, it's a bit pricey for what you get. It is very pricey for what you get, I'll be honest. I wouldn't say it's worth it yet, but apparently they're adding more features, but you can create alerts on here. So you basically, you create an, a, an alert and you give it the minimum view count. You give it a keyword. So every time there's like a video about your keyword on YouTube, you'll get notified about it. Uh, you can set the minimum views length, if it's a short or a long video or both, uh, languages, just stuff like that. So I have a few alerts that I've played around with here. I have a play buttons folder. I have one for 50 million subscribers. I have a bunch of tags on here like Ruby Play button, 50 million award, like stuff like that. Some of these are actually my videos, like this one's my video, this one's my video, but there's not really any updates to the 50 million area on YouTube, which is pretty typical. Not usually any. <laughs> Same with the 20 million subscriber section. Like I already covered this video, so that's it. But I have other alerts like play button. That's pretty cool, right? You can toggle the shorts view. So here's all the shorts. You know, that's cool. There's a lot of play button videos. Most of these are like silver or gold 
play buttons, I guess. Oh, look, it's my video. That one's mine. Okay, cool. Uh, YouTube glitched. Like, I don't actually think there were any for here. Oh, okay, a little bit, a few, a few, a few. Oh, but that was shorts. Yeah, no actual videos. And then I also put time works. There was none except for my own video, but only one. So I don't really know how good this is. I guess it only scans titles and not tags on a YouTube video. Maybe they should look into that. <laughs> Next up is outlier. So outliers is like how good a video performed compared to the channel's typical poll of views compared to their subscribers. So for this channel, this video was 11 times better than its typical poll, right? So if we look at this channel, like, look, it is definitely an outlier. It kind of flatlined, but look, it's pretty crazy. It got a lot of views compared to what it typically gets on this channel. Uh, I don't know. We can select anyone, like even this one here, right? KSI, thick of it, man. Um, this is an outlier because, yeah, it went a little above his channel average. There's, It's 2x now. It's 2x. <laughs> so it is pretty cool, and you can search for keywords, like, uh, I don't know, iPhone review. You can go really in-depth and really get good YouTube video ideas here. That's what this feature is often, like, advertised for. There's, I've seen other companies have their own version of this there's something called Velio which is another one that I can think of but you can do like yeah I want this thing to include Lego the title must exclude challenge right and only show videos from Timeworks Bricks or you can don't show videos from Timeworks Bricks I don't know and so you only get but there's no outliers on Timeworks Bricks because I haven't posted in forever um, <laughs> but you can do some really cool things with all that like it's it's pretty useful if we just search for Lego with no like extra filters like look there's a lot of things here this video got 30x so you know it's probably a good outlier and something about this video performed better than typical videos do on YouTube and if you look at the view count it's pretty good 3 million views off to the side here there's a filter and sort button and this is where it really comes in handy because yeah you get some videos with like not many good views but if you really sort by really crazy views this is often where you can find some really good like ideas you can even adjust the outlier score so you don't get 2x you get like 30x you know like let's do 15 and 5 million views. I bet there's gonna be some crazy things here. Like, this one's old, so th that's fair, 10, 10 years old, I guess. But this one, I've seen this video in my recommended, and it's a great thumbnail because it's just a Lego instruction manual messing up big time, right? Like, this is a crazy good thumbnail. So you can sort of analyze these and get ideas for your own YouTube content just by, it's called competitor analysis, where you look at your competitors on YouTube and you try to, I guess, inspiration mine their content, you know? It, it works, and it's a very useful feature to have. So I like it. It's just good for ideas in general, even if if you don't want to compete you know it's just good for ideas the next one is thumbnail search so this is also for inspiration so we could do an ocean of lava i don't know if that'll if that's too specific it might be wow okay i guess it's not so a lot of it's minecraft which i kind of expect now thinking back on what i just searched but like it's pretty good at recognizing things so this is really good for like just more ideas on youtube and you can also sort things by your outlier score so videos that did really good so in theory you should have really good thumbnails here i honestly don't really think outlier score is all that great to be honest i think the view count is probably the best indicator because i've seen a lot of issues with outlier score so view count and upload date you know if it's a new video with high views it's probably a good thumbnail like these top ones are pretty good honestly yeah it's pretty cool a man eating a bug i'm sure some things here will come up like yeah there's pizza on this like bugs on this pizza. It's pretty good at figuring out what you've searched. I like it. Now the way that this thumbnail thing works, I wanna show you is from Google Cloud's vision. So it can tell you what's in a, a typical video. So I'm just gonna put one of my random thumbnails into here, try the API. This is like what YouTube and Google uses to scan images all across the internet, right? Oh my gosh, I have to verify I'm not a robot. Okay, man, all right, all right. But you can see like it'll detect emotions and stuff. It'll detect there's a very unlikely chance of us wearing headwear, even though I have headphones on, I guess. All right. Face two has a lot of joy. Yeah, I do. The first face has joy. Yeah. Um, objects in here. There's a bunch of people, some headphones. Okay, it recognized the headphones. Yeah, it's really good at doing this. Clothing, there's some labels. So there's headphones, mustache. Like this is really cool. And then safe search is very unlikely there's any ad all content. Like yeah, so, and I bet it could tell this is Sal Volcano and this is Sal and this is Timeworks, but it doesn't show it for some reason. But it's very, very good at what it does. So it's the same technology and that is how Mr. Beast uses it on this website. Next up is A-B tests. So you know on YouTube how you 
making AB test thumbnails. Like here, I think we went to this video. I had an AB test thumbnail on here. You can go down to your sort of thumbnail section and then view the test report. I did two thumbnails on this rewind video and you can see the results of my tests are here. And it was honestly pretty similar. So I just went with this one. <laughs> yeah, but you can you can view all the test results on YouTube. So these are all of the test results that have happened. Like this channel has been testing a lot of Bitcoin, Bitcoin thumbnails. This Minecraft one, he's done a whole bunch. See, like, oh my gosh, that's what it's about. All right, you know what? Let's not l look at that one. Let's go to just Mr. Beast because his thumbnails are probably, you know, safe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure, this one here. Like, 100 pre presents, this one's completely different, 100 presents, this one's also completely different. But you can see how each thumbnail might appear. And yeah, I had a feeling this one would do better, and it obviously won. So, that's cool. But if we clear all that, we can actually sort by views again, so look at that. Views, you can even sort by how many thumbnail tests there's been, so let's try the 20. I want to see, I bet it's only Mr. Beast who have done 20, 20 plus, oh he hasn't even done that, alright. Let's forget that and let's just go high view count. Here we go. It's mostly all Mr. Beast because he had access to thumbnail testing before anyone really did. Like very few YouTubers did. So look at that. These are all the thumbnails he used on his $1 versus 500k experience video. Like look, that's crazy. These are pretty insane thumbnails uh, and they're all different. And for some reason, this one won as of a test from November, 2024. You see how often he's testing these things? Like, oh, he's still testing up until today. Damn, bro. I guess he has a whole thumbnail team. That's insane, dude. What are the differences here? I guess just some minor changes like the hair and the slide. Interesting though. You know, it's a it's a useful tool because then you don't have to test everything yourself. It's cool to see all this and view it, you know? Next up is competitors. So I don't really like to say competitors on YouTube because I find there's no such thing, honestly. I added a bunch of channels that make similar content to my YouTube channel. I think Think Media, VidIQ, Jack Sucks at Life, like all these people kind of make similar content to me, but not like fully, but they are a good basis. And it'll pretty much show you some updates from these channels. So right here, VidIQ got a good outline score on this video. Someone started some thumbnail tests. That's a pretty good thumbnail test. Damn, I started a thumbnail test. Why am I viewed as a competitor on here? I have no idea, man, but <laughs> yeah, like that's, that's cool. Uh, Timeworks uploaded a new video. These guys reach various milestones, okay. The thing about competitors though is great to, if you wanna like know what's happening in your in your area, maybe you didn't hear about an update and you're like, oh shoot, this channel covered it, I should cover it. It's great for that. But I don't really like to call it competitors cause it's not really competing. You know, I find I'll watch a YouTuber talk about a topic and then I'll watch another YouTuber talk about the same topic. It's just, it's about the person. You wanna hear everyone's side of things. So it's not really competing, you know? I'd say they're just like different channels that you, you watch. Like my kind of content, I'm sure a lot of you guys watch other channels who cover the same stuff, even if you've even seen it already, you know? So I don't know. It's not really competitors, but I get why it's titled that. Now, finally, there's collections. And this one's kind of not really a feature. Like, I just made one called Minecraft as a test. There's nothing in it. But everything that you've seen can be added to collections. So if we go to alerts, here's an alert for the play button. We can add it to our Minecraft collection. Add. We can go thumbnail search, uh, Lego, and we can add it to this one here. Great. Add it to the Minecraft collection. Great. And so... Everything can go into here. Obviously these are Minecraft and that's just because like, I'll probably delete this collection, but that's just cause like I was testing it. You know, it's not actually supposed to be Minecraft, but that's what is going on here. That's viewstats.com. There are some pretty cool features. And the way that this works is it pulls data from YouTube's API. There's surprisingly like a lot of data points that you can pull from on YouTube that not many services really cover when you should, like they're really cool. You can actually view all of this information publicly every time a thumbnail test happens, like it's public, so you might as well track it. So I'm glad ViewStats exists because there's no other website on the internet that does it as good as this. It's like they took features from other good websites and added it to their own and then made their own features in addition. It's a good, good website, I like it. So that's my thoughts. I just think it's a little bit too pricey. Like yeah, some of these are pretty, pretty good features, but it's a bit pricey, but I don't know. I've been using it for a couple months and yeah, I like it. So if you wanna see more things like this, check out this video here.